ever wanted to see a book dedicated to one game? Well, here we have it. Just from the outset, this is about Metal Slug. So if you don't like Metal Slug, you're not going to like this book. But if you do, then you have got a treat in hand. Because I have to say, from the very outset, even there with packaging, the guys at Bitmap Book, Sam Dyer, has absolutely smashed this one. It, the fantastic finish and colours, the way that the cover looks, just straight away impresses me massively and the size of this thing this is a serious amount of pages I have to say I think it's 450 odd pages so we're going to get into the book not going to show you every single page but give you a, an over, overview and oversight of uh, what we have here so as you see into the book first you get the contents and it's full contents uh, for this um, particular one and you also then get straight into it, which is the history. Now the book is split into a few different parts and this introduction of the history of Metal Slug is really interesting because there's so much to the Metal Slug story, I have to say. It is completely insightful and not only have you got a illustrative way of showing this, but there's also a lot of interviews. I think there's about 11 interviews from the development team. That's from Kazuma Kujo, um, some of the uh, names I can't pronounce so well, uh, Tashiki, Aku, and many others who I believe haven't even spoken about the game series before have got into this book and actually you get to hear from the horse's mouth for the very, very first time. So, as I say, as much as it is a art book and there's some beautiful, beautiful pictures in the book itself, you also get these fantastic kind of one-off interviews that you're never going to see and be able to read about again and it takes you through the whole history and the roots and the way that the book was um, you know kind of come to fruition through the game uh, series and they have been running for a number of years these uh, uh, get these games and um, if you know anything about the Metal Slug series it's got a real history with SNK and the way that SNK has been through its trials and its tribulations and the, the kind of hand-drawn visuals Again, just give it that kind of re real and reality to that this was very much an original series. I'm not going to go into the interviews in great detail. I'm not going to go into the story in great detail because there's a lot of spoilers and lots of things that you'll find out that you never could have or been able to find out because these are interviews have been told for the very first time. So it's really good to get into them and they go into massive detail, they are very detailed interviews and these discussions really kind of reveal the truth behind the creation of Metal Slug and how it came about and the roots to it um, and if you know a bit about that already then you kind of know where I'm coming from because there is um, obviously a bit out there on the web but uh, this book just gives, gives you the full story, it also gives you that beautiful, beautiful illustrative and uh, you see the whole imagery from game to game over the history and it's done in chronological order. I was mightily impressed by this book and I kind of read it very differently to how I've read bitmap books and, and also other art books as well in that I went almost through it first of all for about two hours just looking at the illustrations just kind of getting into it. I felt like I was in a CD-ROM. Remember the CD-ROMs you'd get back in the past where you're like chunking it up because it is split into various sections and then I've started now to go back. I actually started at the interview stage myself, found it really interesting. So overall it's a fantastic read, it's a fantastic book and you can get your hands on it now, it's available so why not treat yourself?